Okay, now I am planning to switch my digital assistant from Gemini to ChatGPT. That is because Samsung has allowed that to happen. Or maybe let's say Android has allowed that to happen. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Now on One UI 7.0, Samsung added a feature using which we can set the digital assistant to the side key and by pressing and holding on the side button, we can activate Gemini. Now as you can see, when I press and hold on the side key here on this S24 Ultra running on One UI 7, I'm able to activate Gemini and this is the all new uh, window that we get now with that neon light circulating around this box, which looks pretty cool. Now that has been made possible on One UI 7 by Samsung or let's say by Android. And then on One UI 7, we got either Bixby or Google Assistant, which can be set for pressing and holding on the side key. And now we have got Chat GPT as well on the Galaxy phones, which can be assigned for press and hold side key function. Basically, we can activate Chat GPT now by pressing and holding on the side key. And that is making me to use Chat GPT and experiment it on Samsung Galaxy phones. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let's go to the settings here. I will tap on advanced features and tap on side button. Now here you can see on One UI 7, we have got double press option, long press option. And when I tap on long press, earlier we could only select Bixby and Gemini. And now if I tap on the settings button here, you can see we have got both options, Google as well as Chat GPT. It says choose your default digital assistant application. So we can change the default assistant app right here. If you're not finding this option here, all you can do is just go to the default apps, search for default apps here. Here we go, we have got choose default apps. I'll tap on this. Now here we have got choose default app and digital assistant app is showing up right here. I can select this and here we have got the option to select the digital assistant app tap on this and select Google or ChatGPT. Now on the side key press and hold option, I've selected ChatGPT here. Let me go back here again, tap on side button, long press, settings, and here we go, we have got ChatGPT selected. Now what happens is when I press the side key and hold, you can see ChatGPT is activated. This is the animation that you get when you activate ChatGPT. This is on the home screen or whenever you are on another application also, you'll be able to press and hold on the side key and activate it. And here on S24 Ultra, I can press and hold and activate Gemini. Now this is how it works. Now there is one big drawback here. We can use Gemini even on the lock screen, even, we have lo even when we have locked the phone, we can press and hold on the side key to activate Gemini. As you can see here, I've locked the phone and I'm able to press and hold on it and activate Gemini. But this option is not available on the uh, chat GPT. We can't really lock the phone and try to activate uh, the chat GPT. As you can see, I'm pressing and holding on it. Chat GPT is not getting activated. So that's a bummer. Uh, I'm not very sure if there is any way to activate it. Do check it and let me know. As far as I know, there is no way we can activate chat GPT on the lock screen on the Galaxy phones by pressing and holding on the side key. So that is something to consider here. Now let's ask one or two questions here. Let's see how uh, ChatGPT responds compared to Gemini. Sure. Uh, go ahead and ask your questions, and I'll do my best to help you out. Uh, what would you like to know? Okay, this is already active. Uh, it's activated, and it is active in the background. Now let me just try to uh, disable this. Okay, now we don't have ChatGPT active on this. Now what I'll do is I will just ask about the cricket scores, the IPL scores, which was held yesterday. Let's check this on the uh, Gemini. Tell me about yesterday's IPL matches. Based on the information I found, yesterday's IPL matches were quite exciting. Here's a summary. Rajasthan Royals versus Chennai Super Kings. Rajasthan Royals emerged victorious, winning by six runs. The match was held at... Okay, that's how uh, it shows the results. We get the audio as well as the uh, text right here on the screen. Now let's ask the same question to ChatGPT. Tell me about yesterday's IPL matches. Yesterday, March 30th, 2025, saw two IPL matches. In the first, Rajasthan Royals defeated Chennai Super Kings by six runs. Natish Rana top scored with 81 runs and Wanindu Hasaranga took four wickets. In the second match, Delhi Capitals triumphed over Sunrisers Hyderabad by seven wickets. Mitchell Stark claimed five wickets, leading Delhi's victory.
Now here we don't get to see the text, we will only be able to hear the audio but that audio was very crisp and brief and the same information is elaborated here on Gemini. Gemini always tends to elaborate things and it takes a lot of time to explain things whenever we ask a simple question but ChatGPT is always more precise and uh, it will give you answers which you're looking for brief and short. So that is one advantage I see on ChatGPT but we do not have the text, we really have to listen to what ChatGPT is saying. If you want to see text, you will have to open ChatGPT application and then you can check the uh, text there. As you can see, this is the text I asked about, tell me about yesterday's IPL matches and this is the brief that it has given me. Whereas on Gemini, you can see it's quite elaborate and I don't prefer this. I would definitely prefer something like this on ChatGPT. And yeah, here when you chat with ChatGPT, you will be able to see the text and on Gemini by default, you'll be able to see the text along with the audio. Now let me ask another question. How about today's IPL matches? KKR will face the Indians today at 7.30 p.m. That was brief. Let's ask the same question here. What about today's IPL matches? Today, March 31st, 2025, Mumbai Indians will play against Kolkata Knight Riders at Wankade Stadium in Mumbai. The match starts at 7.30 p.m. IST. Mumbai Indians are aiming to secure their first win of the season after two losses. Kolkata Knight Riders, the defending champions, are looking to continue their winning streak. Okay, now that was a little elaborate, but that was the information I was looking for when I asked what about today's matches. Gemini just said, which are the teams that are playing, but uh, ChatGPT uh, mentioned the timing of the match and it also briefed about uh, what these teams are up to. So that is pretty cool. So I actually prefer the answers given by ChatGPT for some reason. In most cases, ChatGPT gives me what I'm exactly looking for. This is one of the reasons why I'm switching to ChatGPT for a few days at least. And the main reason is now I'm able to press and hold on the side key to activate ChatGPT which is pretty awesome. I'm not sure how long I'm going to use ChatGPT as my default assistant. Let's wait and see that. As far as the features are concerned on ChatGPT, it is as good as uh, Gemini. We can tap on this icon to attach files. As you can see, we have got Deep Research and Canvas also available on Gemini now. We have got uh, Photos, Camera and Files options here. And if you want more options, you can tap on this hamburger menu and tap on Explore ChatGPTs. You have got so many features here which we can experiment. There are loads of things here. I will definitely try this and I'll make a review video about ChatGPT and I'll compare it with Gemini as well. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find it useful. Let me know whether you have got this option, whether you are able to set ChatGPT as your uh, digital default digital assistant and are you able to activate it by pressing and holding on the side key on your Galaxy phone. Drop a comment and let me know. And yeah, do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. There are some amazing collections added today and every day we will be adding many more uh, wallpapers. Do download it and rate it on Play Store. That encourages us to keep adding more and more wallpapers for you guys. And yeah, if you're interested in this widget, the widget link is also in the description. This is called One UI 7 KWGT widget from a premium widget pack. You need KWGT Pro Key and KWGT app to install these or set this up uh, on your home screen. So if you're interested, go ahead, download this widget pack as well from the link in the description. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.